So on this play, in the span of three seconds, Jack Eichel climbs the ladder, picks the puck up, puts it down to his stick, decides, I'm going to make an incredible read here to figure out where to put the puck to have the best chance to score, and then uses his high-end skill to cross-ice pass to Marcia so for bam, an open net. That all happens in the span of three seconds, and it tells you how elite Jack Eichel is. And yeah, I know that Jack Eichel is one of the favorites for the Conn Smythe right now, and honestly, in his very first playoff appearance, he's really close to kissing the Stanley Cup here. But let's refresh ourselves of the narratives surrounding this guy for the past, what, eight, nine plus years? Remember the Jack Eichel curse about how if you put him on your team, you won't make the playoffs, and he crumbles in the big games, and you can't win with him, and he's a diva in the Buffalo dressing room, he's not a good leader. This is all stuff that was said about Jack Eichel throughout, especially his time in Buffalo, but even when he got to Vegas, and he had, by a lot of people's standards underwhelming and I put that in air quotes because he still had pretty decent seasons but by what a lot of people were expecting of him to go put out I don't know Dreisaitl numbers or McKinnon numbers he didn't do that but he was still a very effective player and given that in the last two seasons with Vegas he didn't show the Hart Trophy finalist clear as day number one center Jack Eichel I think it's fair to say that quite a few people were expecting a Jack Eichel Casper the Friendly Ghost performance in these playoffs but instead Instead, the dude's been absolutely unreal. Now it's 16 points in 13 playoff games, and honestly, Vegas' best player other than like Aiden Hill. And the one that really knocked my socks off was, I talked about this a couple of weeks ago, the McDavid versus Eichel first overall versus second overall comparisons in that series. I thought that would have gotten to him. I thought the pressure of everybody saying, look, McDavid's just in a different caliber than you, man. Like, he's just a level above you, Jack. I'm sorry, and you're going to have to match up against him. Just try to hold your own. No, he grabbed the rock and ran with it. And he was like, no, 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 I, I'm not having any of this. I want to dominate this series. And man, did he ever. He was on fire that series. And honestly, the whole playoffs. And look, there's no debating that obviously... Anybody, a, a blind dog would take Connor McDavid over Jack Eichel in the 2015 draft. But man, did Jack show some dog in him and say, hey, I'm more of a winner than people give me credit for. And to be completely honest with you, if Vegas gets a Jack Eichel that knows he can dominate in the playoffs and can overcome all of these narratives of, oh, he's not a winner, he's going to disappear in the playoffs, man, that's going to be scary and that's going to be dangerous, not just for this playoff run, but playoff runs in years to come. A number one cornerstone guy who can really turn it on in the playoffs? Come on. And be honest with yourself. How many people actually thought that Jack Eichel was going to be able to be that? I mean, honestly, I'll be the first to admit that when I was watching him in Buffalo, I loved the kid, but I really thought he was the type to be like, oh, I'm going to put up my 75 to 90 points in the regular season. Oh, would you look at the time? It's playoffs. See ya. I'm going to go home now. That's why this is terrifying if you're any other team in the Pacific Division, or honestly in the league, if you get a Jack Eichel who gains confidence from this. Imagine if Jack Eichel wins a Conn Smythe and a Stanley Cup here. I mean, the dude's going to be unstoppable. Seriously. And the same thing goes for Matthew Kachuk. Like, you give that guy a Stanley Cup and just watch the monster run wild. And the same thing would happen with Jack Eichel here, where he's like, hey, all the people in the media are wrong here. I can be an absolute beast in the playoffs. And honestly, that's one of the biggest keys to success in this wacky, unpredictable tournament that we call the NHL playoffs. So if they have that in Vegas, viva Las Vegas, baby. It's going to be murderer's row for years to come going up there. That's it for me on this one. I want to know what you guys think about this. The comments down below. What did you think Eichel was going to be? Did you foresee him doing this type of stuff in the playoffs? Because I know I didn't. And I know a lot of people didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.